Hey everybody, it's me again, VA Jesse or Jaslyn Lazada from Telecrew Outsourcing. again for another vlog or another tutorial but before I do that I just want to thank everybody because we just recently hit 10,000 subscribers here in my YouTube channel and I just want to thank you all for the support that you're giving me and for the support that you're giving to this channel when I started this channel back in 2020 it was the height of the pandemic and I really had nothing to do at that time and instead of focusing on being stressed out and being unhappy with what was happening i thought of creating this channel and i started creating content i didn't realize that it's going to last this long i started doing it just for a hobby and now here we are with 10,000 subscribers and thank you so much the past couple of months i wasn't very active because i just gave birth i took the past few months as a break you know i had to have time to recover and to spend time with me family and to spend time with my new baby and now that I'm back on track and gradually I'm becoming ready again and I'm back to work I'm, I'm glad to say that I'd be creating more content for you guys and I hope that you can share my video like it and you know keep supporting me and tell a crew outsourcing if you are new to my channel welcome and thank you so much for dropping by today um, let me introduce myself again my name is Jaslyn Lozada I am one of the business owners of Telecrew Outsourcing. We are a virtual staffing agency from the Philippines. We provide telemarketing, appointment setting, lead generation, sales, and many other virtual assistant support um, globally. I wanted to provide um, coaching and different content to, you know, just about sales and telemarketing to, you know, real estate appointment setting. And I create content for that, like tutorials and script training and a lot of good stuff. So if you're into that, if you want to learn more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up button. And yeah, it would really mean a lot to me. I'm really excited for today's video because we're going to dig into something that's key for anyone working in B2B sales, and that is how to build strong relationships with your leads and turn them into loyal clients. And trust me, this isn't just about making one sale. We're talking about creating long-term partnerships that would benefit both you and your clients for the years to come. I think we all know how important relationships are in sales, right? It's not just about closing deals as fast as possible, especially in B2B. It's about taking the time to understand the person on the other side of the deal, figuring out how you can help each other grow. And that's what turns a lead into a client. All right, let's start with the most important one. Listen, listen first and sell later. Honestly, this is where most people go wrong. I see it all the time. Like people get so excited about what they're offering and they would jump right into pitching it without even knowing what the client's real needs are. It's like trying to solve a problem before you even know what it is. Think about it this way. Imagine you're meeting someone for the first time and they just start talking about themselves, not asking a single thing about you. It's kind of off-putting, right? The same thing happens in sales. If you want to build a strong relationship, you've got to show genuine interest in the other person. Ask questions. Get curious. Let them explain their pain points, their challenges, what's keeping them up at night. And when they do, listen. Like, really listen. Don't just wait for your turn to talk. This is such a big deal because when your lead feels heard, they also feel understood. And that's where trust starts. And trust is the foundation of any strong relationship, especially in B2B sales. Okay, now that you've made that initial connection, 
what's next? Well, building strong relationships does not happen overnight. So the second tip is staying in touch and being consistent with your communication. This is where a lot of people drop the ball. Maybe you had a great first conversation, but if you don't follow up, you're basically leaving money on the table. Think about it like dating. You wouldn't go on one date not talk for weeks, and then suddenly show up asking for commitment, right? It's the same in sales. You need to nurture that relationship over time. I'm not saying that you should spam your leads with constant emails. That's a fast way to get ignored. What you want to do is find a good balance and check in every now and then. Send a quick email with an update or even better, send something that's useful to them. Maybe it's an article they'd find helpful or a tool that could make their lives easier. The key is to remind them that you're here and you're thinking about their needs. Next up, be a problem solver, not just a seller. This one is huge. Your leads don't want to feel like they're just another transaction. They're looking for solutions to real problems. So instead of pushing your product or service right off the bat, take the time to understand what challenges they're facing and then figure out how you can solve those problems. All right, so let's say you're selling a software solution. Sure, you can talk about all the amazing feature it has, but what's really going to hit home for your leads is hearing how those features can solve their specific issues. Are they struggling with efficiency? Do they need to streamline their processes? Figure out and then tailor your pitch around those pain points. When you position yourself as someone who's here to help, not to sell, you're building trust. They'll see you as a partner in their success and not just someone trying to make a sale, right? And when they trust you, they are going to more likely become a loyal long-term client. All right, so you've been listening. You're staying in touch and you're solving problems. But before you ask for the sale, well, there's one more thing you should be doing, which is offering value first. This might sound counterintuitive, but hear me out. One of the best ways to build a strong relationship is to show your lead that you're here to help, you know, even before they commit to anything. And that could mean offering a free consultation or maybe sending over some helpful resources or giving them advice that they can act on right away. By doing this, you're showing them that you're not just here for a quick sale, but you're also invested in their success. Plus, when you give value upfront, it makes a decision to work with you so much easier because they've already seen how helpful you are, so they know that they're going to get even more value when they become a paying client. It's a win-win. And finally, stay patient. Building strong B2B relationships takes time. It's not about closing the deal on the first call or sending one email and expecting an instant result. It's about playing the long game. So don't get discouraged if it takes a few follow-ups or if your lead isn't ready to buy right away. Just keep nurturing that relationship. Keep adding value, keep solving problems. And eventually, when the timing is right, they'll think of you first because you've built a solid foundation of trust. At the end of the day, B2B sales is all about relationships. It's not about rushing to close a deal. It's about listening, staying consistent, offering value, and being patient. If you can do those things, I promise the clients will come. So that's it for today, guys. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I do have a lot of different video tutorials and tips coming your way. Let me know in the comments what's one thing that you do to build strong relationships with your clients. I'd love to hear that from you. And before I go, guys, if you are interested in hiring a virtual assistant or a salesperson or a telemarketer appointment setter, feel free to uh, reach out to us via email at info at telecrewoutsourcing.com. You can also visit our website. We provide lead generation services and virtual assistant services, sales and telemarketing um, to different clients globally, be it for B2B, B2C, or maybe real estate accounts. Now, if you are an applicant 
or someone who want to join my team feel free to send an application through the website as well go to www.telecareeroutsourcing.com go to apply now and fill out the form and someone from our hr team will get back to you right away anyway thank you so much again guys for watching my video until the end i really really appreciate you thank you again and see you on my next video bye